what was it like like in 2016 you got called up to the national team and then what was it finally like in 2018 to, to finally get your first cap yeah it's kind of been a, a little whirlwind ride for me but um you know i've been in, i've been in that was my fourth camp by the time i got my first cap so um it was a process that I was kind of waiting for. I was waiting for that final result. You know, it's always great to get called into camps and meet the guys and be involved. But you, ultimately, you want that cap. And that was the end product. And I was really happy that I was able to do it on the last ball. Growing up in the U system in the U.S., when uh, when did you realize that, yo, you know what? I'm, I'm a lot better than a lot of these kids that I'm playing. And I could really take this serious enough to become a professional soccer player? At what age would you say that happened? Yeah, I think for certain people it happens at different ages, you know, just with the way you grow up playing and how it works when you're growing and everything, because I was involved with national team when I was around 14, and I didn't, I know I was involved until I was 18, so I think probably around 17 or 18 is the real age that I kind of thought that I could really play in college, you know, if I put myself in a good spot in college, that um, I could play professionally. Yeah, so just going off that, like, I know you stayed home at St. John's. What was, like, the college recruiting system like going through it as a top player? I mean, you were a New York State Gatorade Player of the Year, so, and ultimately decides to play, play for St. John's, which is a storied program. I know just, we're all from Queens, me and Nick, that is. Um, and they've made, they had that incredible run from, I think, 92 to your freshman year. So what was it like just, just putting on that St. John's jersey and then playing in the tournament your freshman year? It was, it was awesome. You know, I think St. John's is a school that kind of speaks for itself in terms of its history and its winning record, and especially under Coach Mazur, and their success of producing good defenders. So I think that's kind of what pushed me to go there. And um, recruiting is fun. You know, I think it's one of those things where... Um, it's basically a bunch of people just trying to study their, study their school and make you commit to them for the next four years of your life. So, um, for me, that was, it was an exciting time for me, but ultimately I decided to stay a little bit closer to home um, and go to St. John. Mm-hmm. 